It travels at lightning speed, is operated by a robot and is helping to save lives every day. But this is no modern day superhero. It's the future of pharmacy. This is one of only a few hospitals in the world to have its drugs sorted, picked and delivered by robots. In this room, the orders come from the hospital and we de deliver the drugs that they want with the robots, picking the bags, correct bags, and send it by a tube system up to the boards. But this high-tech revolution was driven by some sobering statistics. Worldwide numbers shows that 5 to 10 percent of deaths in hospitals are related to handling of drugs wrong way or not intentionally the right way. In 2001 there was a study at our hospital that uh, showed that as much as 18 percent of the deaths could be related to drug uh, handling or mishandling. The most common mistakes were misreading bad handwriting on the prescriptions or giving the wrong dose of the wrong drug to the wrong patient. In some cases, staff forgot altogether to give drugs to their patients. But the idea with this system is to take the human error out of the equation. It all starts here in the central pharmacy, where drugs are packaged into individual unit doses. This reduces the chances of patients being accidentally given an overdose. The drugs are then labelled with barcodes and sorted and picked by robots, which, unlike humans, are incapable of getting confused by the many similar drug names. The system also keeps the ward medicine cabinets stocked up thanks to a network of pneumatic tubes. This system makes it easier for us nurses because we can go on a computer and order or it'll automatically restock. So we don't have to take out a lot of papers and order on paper and send down because, yeah, you know, papers can get lost and, yeah, it's easier this way. Hi, hi. The hospital now plans to extend the project by giving patients barcoded wristbands so that nurses can double check that they're giving out the right drugs. For patients, the human touch is irreplaceable. But in the high-pressure environment of today's hospitals, the team here are convinced that their new vision for pharmacy will help keep people that little bit safer. Lorna Stewart, BBC News, Oslo.